The way the form is taken in this version is very, very French. Like the sort of the largeness of it, the fact that there's ballets, the fact that there's um, like a certain structure in the piece puts it firmly into the tradition of Grand Opera. It's really interesting in the piece that you see in the ballet music, it feels like Verdi must have like dipped out to see some Offenbach when he was writing it. L'essence vraiment du travail avec Lydia, euh, c'est le théâtre, c'est les relations entre les personnages. Et je pense vraiment que son, son, son esthétique est appuyée sur euh, le texte, le sens. We've chosen an aesthetic where observation culture was central in a political system. That's to say, sort of the late Stalinist era. Um, and that's, it's just a place where we found like an aesthetic anchor. It's not to say, this is not a piece about that period. Je pense que le choix de, du, du Berlin Est va, va parler au public. Les gens vont ressentir des émotions, soit de leur passé, soit de, de, de ce qu'on connaît actuellement avec la guerre en Ukraine, etc. Va, va parler. Et l'opéra, c'est fait pour ça. Observation and the constant editing of your wishes because you are aware that those might be uh, overheard. That creates an enormous pressure on the characters on stage in this production as it does with us uh, in 2023 in everyday life. I think an enormous feature of this particular production is the cast. The voices in themselves are worth traveling a long distance to hear, <laughs> but they're also very, very intelligent singing actors. It's, it's, not a, it's not a short evening, but through every single moment, like you're guided by these like incandescent performers. And that's sensational. It's epic. Mm -hmm.